Thank you very much, Jenna. Get used to saying Placid Road is closed. It's going to be a while. Hey, uh, while Churchill may be a lovely destination, Drew Kosub has some closer places in mind. Where, Drew? We're getting on the Prairie Dog Central. And where are we heading? Jeremy, we can go uh, wherever you like. We can go back through time or we can just go to Gros Isle. Whatever you're interested in. Because right now we're standing inside of one of the 100-year-old coaches. And I think I've got something to stump you. Okay, uh, lay it on me, buddy. What'd you get? All right, you're a pretty smart guy, and I'm always trying to teach you something that you don't know, but I think I've got something really good this time. So okay. this car is about 100 years old. Right now, we're in the area that people used to sit. Take a look at this guy. This was a convenient thing for passengers to use while they were traveling inside of these cars. Keep in mind, they've been here for very long periods of time. What was this thing used for, for the passengers in this 100-year-old coach? I hate to say it, but is it chamber pot? Oh, no, no, not chamber pot, but very, very good guess. Uh, that's actually what uh, people used to strike their matches on so that they could enjoy a cigarette while they were driving, uh, going through, going down the rails. Now that we know, maybe uh, smoking indoors, not such a good idea. Sure. So we don't do that anymore, but really fun little bits of history that we get to see as we explore uh, the Prairie Dog Center ra Railway. So very happy that the chamber pots were not stored above people's heads. Don't worry, I'll find out where they are, and maybe I can bring you one for a souvenir, okay? That's, uh, I'd rather have the matches, to be honest with you. We'll see. Christmas is coming. All right. Uh, we've learned a little bit about the history. I got to show Jeremy the, the smoking trick. Uh, but, Bob, let's talk a little bit about the Prairie Dog Central Railway. Uh, how did this all come to be? Well, in the uh, early 60s, mid-60s, there was a group of uh, individuals that were looking to uh, put together a steam locomotive and uh, one of our, our coaches, uh, Coach 103, uh, for Canada Centennial. And uh, the hope was to do a circuit around the city. Unfortunately, that didn't work out at the time. Uh, but they, uh, they didn't lose sight, and uh, in 1968, uh, we uh, incorporated, became known as the Vintage Locomotive Society. Okay. And uh, uh, banded together. There was a group of nine that, uh, that basically founded the, uh, the uh, society, and uh, we began our first operations. The first actual train ride was on the 1st of July, 1970. Oh, wow. Of course, so we had a special guest on that train, by who, the way. Who was, was that uh, special guest? Then uh, Prime Minister Elliot Trudeau, and we uh, took a trip up to the lower Fort Gary. No and, kidding. Uh, yeah, that was uh, an exciting time for everybody then, for the inaugural run, I guess you could say. Wow, so when we come out to go ride on the Prairie Dog uh, nowadays, this is this is open for anyone to go. What's a, what's a typical ride like? What happens? Well, a typical ride, normal, uh, depending on the event, uh, we usually leave at 11 o'clock on time, and uh, well, I always say on time, and uh, we go up to uh, Grass Isle. It's about a three, three and a half hour trip, uh, depending on the event. Uh, if we have a, a train robbery, for example, there's a little bit of uh, time taken while the uh, robbers go through and, uh, and steal the donations, as we say. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's about a three and a half hour trip. A nice, leisurely trip through the countryside. Neat. Now, can I ask a little bit about the train? Because it seems like something that you wouldn't just find anywhere. This thing is uh, about 130 years old. The, uh, well, Combined, it's over 100. The uh, coaches are all well over 100 years old. The steam locomotive, again, was built in 1882. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, all together, average is about 120 years. Yeah. Wow, and where did you find, uh, where, did you, where do you guys collect these things from? <laughs> well, over the, over the course of time, the, uh, the original uh, uh, train uh, was the uh, Coach 103 and the steam locomotive. They were actually, uh, uh, um, the locomotive was purchased uh, by CP. It was one of uh, 30 uh, locomotives that was bought back in 1882. And then uh, it started working for Canadian Pacific. It was sold in, uh, uh, to the city of Winnipeg in 1918 and uh, worked out of uh, Pointe de Bois, uh, between Pointe de Bois and Lac de Bonnie, and it got tied to Coach 103. In fact, Coach 103 and Coach uh, and the steam locomotive have been together for well over 90 years, and there's oh, no really? other combination of steam or engine and, and coach uh, that we know of. So that's how long they've been married together. Wow, so if we ride along on the Prairie Dog Center r Railway, we could be riding in a uh, part of history that's been cruising the rails for a um, hundred years. A hundred years, yeah. Wow, fascinating stuff. If you want more information about the Prairie Dog Central Railway, about the trips and the theme days that are coming up, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. Take a quick break here on BT, but more to come later today on City. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up.